What lies beneath this bed of blooming flowers could be the key to solving a serious problem. It's called nutrient pollution, and it is literally taking oxygen, choking and polluting Florida's waterways. This water pollution is mainly caused by runoff. When it rains, excess phosphorus, nitrogen and other chemicals from fertilizers wash into lakes and rivers. By developing on these wetlands across Florida, we've also really um, prevented the filtering processes for even a lot of the southeastern region of the United States. But if we want to revive the, the filtering capacities that they once had, we need to bring plants back into these systems. Jasmine Locke Rodriguez is an environmental scientist trying to save the waterways around South Florida. She's growing flowers on specially designed rafts. Flowering plant islands mimic the way wetlands naturally filter pollutants. The plant's roots act like kidneys for the flower island and create a natural filtration system, soaking up nitrogen and phosphorus into their stems, leaves and flowers. Now these floating wetlands are very effective at what they do. They remove about 50% phosphorus and 40% nitrogen in any given waterway. The idea is to harvest the flowers and sell them at the local farmer's market, using the proceeds to help further grow the program and scale the impact. And then it benefits us to put younger plants into these platforms, which is good when we're talking about cleaning all these uh, pollutants out of the water. For AccuWeather, I'm Leslie Hudson reporting.